been exhausted. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, I, I really am enjoying this game show. Okay. I wish well, I had like Monopoly. <laughs> the, so the next one, let's do collagen protein. <laughs> Excited, sorry. <laughs> So yeah. collagen protein, overrated, underrated, or accurately rated? Um, is there like a fourth topic that we could go on where it should be like, how do I explain this? I hate collagen protein. I hate it. Like I literally, I hate it. Right. I, I, I don't even want to rate it. That's how much I dislike collagen protein. All right, here's my collagen protein rant. There was a, a way they used to measure protein. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Back in the day, it was in the 80s and 90s. If you open any muscle on fitness or muscle builder power in the 80s and 90s going back in time, you'd always see that protein companies talk about their biological value. right? And it was supposed to be like, how much of this protein can you actually absorb? And this goes off into a whole nother rant. Because there was a company that made egg white protein. And their biological value of egg whites is like, it's like 100 like you just absorb all the protein you take in. Whereas some of the more plant-based proteins, especially the ones that unlike like whey, which have not been processed, their biological value is lower. Why? Because their amino acid profile is meant to build leaves, stems, and plants. It's not meant to build eyes, heart, and lung tissue, right? So the amino acids are off. Even the worst plant protein is better than collagen protein. What really really gets me raging about collagen protein is number one it's sold by itself so even if i could try and make an argument if i said well maybe if it took collagen protein and you mixed it with whey or casein which is dairy protein or you mixed it with some other thing like egg protein maybe you might have the amino acid pool that you get something out of it chemists and scientists will tell me i'm dead wrong about that i had a guy a, a scientist they tell me Word for word, Mike, even if you mix collagen protein with whey protein or casein or some other high-end protein, it still would be biologically worthless. The biological value of collagen protein is zero. It is 0, 0.0. That, if you don't know, was Mr. Blutowski's grade point average in, in Animal House. 0, 0.0, right? It is beyond worthless. And what makes me even more nuts is people drink it in isolation. So even if you lived in Shank's fantasy land, where all the scientists are saying, well, no, actually, even when mixed with other proteins, it won't do anything because your body can't use it. It, it. it still wouldn't probably do much of anything. So they sell it in isolation where we definitely know it won't work. Even if you mix it into your protein, I mean, people putting that stuff in their coffee. They drink coffee first thing in the morning with isolated collagen protein. I'm like, that's going to do nothing. Like, literally, it's just, no, it doesn't, it doesn't even belong in the, the rating scale. And, you know, there was, a, people remember, there was a, well, they want to remember this. No one knows this. There was, well, there's a couple people who knows. There was a thing years ago called the last chance diet in which they used solely collagen protein as a way to lose weight in a very low calorie diet. And like dozens of people died from it because collagen protein is such crap. You can't even survive on it. You could literally eat only potatoes and you might not be happy, but you probably could survive on that, right? At least for a certain extended period of time. Collagen protein, you're going to die. That's how that's how bad of a protein product is. You if you only drink that, you'll die. Like no, it sucks. Stop. It's not and people are like, look at my hair and nails, it's so amazing. It's, no, it, it's total placebo effect. Or as they would say in uh, always saying so, ah, always sunny in Philadelphia, the placebo placido domingo effect. It doesn't do stop with collagen protein. Stop. Yeah. Right. Get some, uh, get some Pantene Pro V with Pro Vitamins or something in it if you want your hair to shine. Uh, it's, it, no, I hate collagen protein. And if there is some value to it, you'd have to mix it with something else. But God help you if you go to Target, Wee Wee, or Walmart, or you go to a, a Costco or whatever, you'll just see tubs of this stuff for sale by itself. Like, no, no, stop. What do you think, Devin? Yeah, I mean, as far as for hair, skin, and nails, I... I think, I mean, like there's the whole like bone broth thing. Like if you're use, having like quality, like actual real bone broth, like that can help. But I would say like the people that are having the collagen and, and thinking that it's contributing to like helping to keep their muscle mass or helping building muscle, 
I would say just you would want to emphasize other forms of protein because it's just going to be actually absorbable um, for that purpose. Biological value of zero. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't surprise me as fact, by the way. There was some guru who was selling... I might even get into that. I'll go nuts on that rant. He was selling like an ant sterile. Uh, no, whatever. Zero. Biological value of zero. That's all you need to know. All in your head. Right? Yeah. So all in your head. I think like the first thing that comes to mind when I think of collagen protein powder is the people where I'm like, okay, so when they tell me they eat enough protein, I'm like, okay, so what did you have? And they're like, okay, well, I have put collagen in my coffee and then I have um a hard boiled egg with my breakfast and then like for a snack i have an rx bar and it's like the bigger issue is that they don't understand that the foods that they're choosing are not actually as high in protein as they think they are like an egg has like seven grams of protein that rx bar there's like a little bit of egg whites in it like i'm just thinking of the like, things that come to mind so it's like Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture of, of the typical person who does consume collagen protein, it's like they're probably not getting enough total protein in the first place. So like, I think the collagen might not even be like their biggest issue. That, that's such a, such a huge point. That, that, that just made me think. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. It, it's, it's, if you look at collagen protein by itself, it's garbage for building muscle mass, right? For, for, for protein synthesis. You may say, well, Shank, who eats collagen protein by itself? Most of the average people who are taking collagen protein in are taking it by themselves, by itself, right? Most of the advanced bodybuilders who are taking it and swearing that it does something for them are usually consuming all other types of protein. That means they have adequate protein intake. They've got adequate amino acid intake. So who knows if the collagen is even doing anything? It, 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 it might not even be making any bit of a difference outside of what's inside their head. Uh, and even then, is the only way collagen protein is going to work is if you're already eating adequate amounts of protein to begin with? Well, who cares? If you're eating adequate amounts of protein to begin with, you've solved the main problem. Yeah. yeah. Which, but I usually the people that. who, but usually the people who eat collagen protein are probably not getting enough protein. No, they, and they're doing, yeah, they're not getting enough protein. And they're usually doing it with, like you said, in the coffee. It's just one of these things that comes and goes. You're in this industry long enough. I never thought I would ever see insect skeleton sterols for building muscle to ever come back ever again. And sure enough, about three or four years ago, uh, a YouTube guru, an internet guru, was selling it as a way to build muscle mass. And I could not believe what I was watching. This, this was like a big thing. It was up there with micronized creatine, right, back in the 90s. There, there was actually an ad once for this company. I think it was called SoCal Supplements. And they said, our creatine works so well, you will slap your training partner. And in the advertisement, in the muscle mass, they had this bodybuilder just slapping this other bodybuilder in the face. And I'm like, all right, maybe we're behind that. No one ever believed this stuff anymore. And then sure enough, someone digs that back up. So am I surprised that collagen protein has been dug back up? No. But it's, but I guess it's up to people like us that tell the public, no, knock it off. It's, it's, it's whatever. Biological value of zero. Yeah. Next time. Creatine. I think creatine is wonderful. I, I feel like James Carville in, in, in old school when Will Ferrell 